Look at the discussion here. Um, the first thing I would notice is that everything here is in terms of either x or a constant. Either x or a constant. So I'm using what there? Direct integration method. That one is set to. What's my next task there? If you recall the order or the form of a direct integration method, it was usually the y x, this being equal to a function in terms of x. What does this mean? It simply means make the y the x subject of the formula. Alright, first task. How do I do that? First is first. First is first. Divide both sides by the x. So it means divide here by the x. Please write the step. So first task. Divide both sides by the x. So repeat this. Divide by the x. Repeat this. Divide by the x. That's the first task. Of course, it is mathematically correct that if I say a b all over c, this is the same thing as saying move out a. So a dot b over c. These two are mathematically correct. What does it mean? It means I can take the x to just the y and move this one out. So if I move this out, I'm having this as sorry. Um, x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. So move this together, have of there. dy dx. Correct. It's equal to this in terms of so course. I'm having this as 3x squared plus 8x plus 7. Alright, you have this. Again, I want to make the word by the x in what there, subject of the formula. How do I do that? I will divide both sides by what there, everything attached to what there, you mm -hmm. so can see, divide by the coefficient of the y there, so that's correct. Am I right with this? Alright. So I'll divide this by this coefficient, x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. Divide the other side by 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. From here, this will cancel this. So what have I got there? Um, So much now before that was uh, normally this is how you should have been given the question would have said evaluate the differential equation evaluate the differential equation the y the x equal to this they did not give you this they wanted to stress you so they gave you in this form your own tax now is to convert it back to what there this form and then start solving now in solving this one of the ways you solve integration Integration is not like differentiation. The stuff will keep changing, right? The way I will solve this question, if I put here as 4x cubed, the method will change to partial fraction. As good as that sound, that's it. Right, so when people ask me, how do you always know the method to solve questions of integration? To be honest, sometimes it's just experience. And that's why, that's why I said go and practice as many times as possible. Now before that part there, here's the thing. If you know the different methods of doing integration, you'll know that if you look at this in carefully, if I differentiate this 
Now how is If I shake x to what you get there? If I shake four x to what you get there? If I shake seven x to what you get there? If I shake minus what you get there? You have this. In a case where if I differentiate denominator, I will have numerator. What do I use there? Substitution method. But if I now change this, I put for here. You know how then that if I now differentiate this, I will not get this. So what do you do now? Partial fraction. You see how crazy this thing can be. So you don't solve two examples and say, you know, you don't know it yet. I can just alter one small thing and the whole method changes. For this case now, if I look at this very well, I can see that if I differentiate this, I will not get this. So this becomes what there? Differentiation or integration by what there? Partial fraction. The same thing, just one small tweaking. Let's go and some examples. Uh, partial fraction by part two. They are free on my channel. Go and pick your camera and watch them. Alright? They are free on my channel. But for this one, no stress. I know fewer than if I differentiate this, I will get this. So I will now use. Differentiation is by what there? Substitution. How do I go about it? First things first, move this man over here. So I'll have that dy is equal to, uh, excuse me, I'll have that dy is equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 7 all over x cubed plus 4x squared. Plus 7x minus 3. The x comes in because of that? Yes. Yes. Again, I would say the best method of learning integration is to solve problems over. And once you solve plenty, your eyes will come open. You just need to see, see the pattern. That's how it is. Alright? It's crazy, but then it is what it is. Alright, knowing fully well that if I differentiate this and have no value, I'll now say using integration by what there? Substitution. How does that work? You say, let u be equal to what there? Denominator. x cubed plus. Please, you can put the notes there. Using integration by substitution. Let u be equal to denominator. 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. Let's uh, differentiate this. What's the u in x here? The u, the x, is equal to. This gives you uh, what? 3x squared plus 8x plus 7. That's this. What you're doing is what next there? Make the x subject of the formula. And how do you do that? These two will swap position. This one goes down, this one goes up. So I'll have that du all over 3x squared plus 8x plus 7 is equal to the yeah, existing function position is mathematically correct. And now say substituting. We substituting. Substituting. Uh, what do you have there? You have that dy. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We've done, we've done something. We should have done. So listen, listen. Before we even do this, I'm saying it's basically both sides. Guys, it's that. Right? It's basically both sides. So after this, this will come in. After this, you now see it's basically both sides. You integrate this, you integrate this. That's what you're not doing this. That's what it is. Right? So you have to put the integral side first before you start doing this. Basically. So here's the thing I've said integral, you can't do differential. You have y. y will be equal to the integral of this one here x 3x squared plus 8x plus 7 all over in substituting we've just said all of this should be equal to what there u so this becomes u dot dx what's the x there the x is the u all over 3x squared 3x squared plus 8x plus 7. What's your observation here? This can cancel this. Same thing. This cancel this. So what do you have there? Y is equal to integral. It becomes what there? 1 over u plus what there? 
If I integrate 1 over u, what do I get? Lin u. I get lin u. I get lin u. Right? Integral of 1 over x gives you what there? Lin x. So integral of 1 over u gives you what there? Alright, this is equal to lin u plus c. Let's look back the value of u. But we said that u should be equal to something here. That's x cubed plus 4x squared square plus 6x minus 3. Okay, that means that y is equal to lean u, lean u, x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. Lean u then plus c, plus c. This becomes the answer to that question. If you differentiate this, you have it. You have that. That's it. Right. Copy this. Let's look at the next question. Let's solve this. Let's solve this. Look up. The one is equal to x exponential x squared all over 1 minus exponential x squared. I've said, if you actually know how this works, if I differentiate this man here, I will get this. It's very evident. How? Let me show you. So, when well, once you can differentiate this and get this, just use what there, substitution. I will say, let u be equal to, you know, the minus, minus 1 minus exponential x squared. What do you get x? The u, the x, is equal to, if I shift 1, what do you get there? 0, constant. If I shift minus x minus exponential x, what do you get? By the way, as I said, please go back to the YouTube and watch differentiation. Please master it. Don't just say you want to pass exam. Master it. I taught you exponential differentiation shortcut. What is shortcut? I said to differentiate exponential there. The task is simple. Focus on the power. Differentiate the power and bring it down. That's all. What's my power here? X squared. Differentiate x squared. What do you get there? 2x. Bring 2x down. Here it comes from there. Minus 2x exponential x squared. That's simple. Make the x to be subject of the formula. These two will swap. I will have du all over minus 2x exponential x squared is equal to what there? The x. Of course, at this period in your study career, you should have known that you do not leave a denominator as what there? Mm -hmm. Negative. So what do you do here now? Push this my word there. Upwards, this minus comes here. Now you lose my chop. At this point, now say substituting. Substituting. This becomes oh. I've not used my integral sign yet. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I should have done integral of this. Integral of this, right? Yes. No? The x comes here. The x comes here, so I'm having the x, so I'm having this one here. Integral cancel differential, right? Yes, sir. You now have that y is equal to integral of x exponential x squared all over. We call this u, I mean? Yes. And that is u? Yes. So u dot dx. Yes. What's dx then? Minus u all over. 2 exponential 2 x exponential 2 x exponential x squared What do you have there here? x cancels x exponential x squared cancels this one here and next to this In essence, y is equal to integral of 1 over u dot minus 1 over 2 dot I work on this now. Move this man outside integral sign. You have that 
y is equal to minus 1 over 2 integral of, this one goes outside, I'm left with 1 over u dot 1, eh? du. Okay? From here, y is equal to minus 1 over 2. Integral over u, what do you get there? Linear u. Linear u plus c. We call u, but u, but, but bring back u. What is what? 1 minus exponential x squared. Now put it back here. 1 equal to minus 1 over 2 lean u. 1 minus exponential x squared plus c. Check it now. That's your answer. So that's answer. We'll take one final example on this and then we'll move on to the next method. Please. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.